Welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch, and we're back with some more Dark Souls. So, since our last video, I went out and I went back to the painted world and just uh, decided to grind souls on the uh, those little slimy guys that are, sit around the pillar. And I found that I could basically farm up about seven, eight thousand every minute and a half, roughly, souls. And so, after 30 or 45 minutes, I had. Um, I was sitting on 175,000. Maybe I'm, I'm underestimating the number of souls per minute, but it's a lot. So I uh, just to show you what I spent most of them on here. Um, I have a Quelag's Fury Sword, and to do that, I, I uh, went and upgraded a Falcon. I spent a ton of money on materials. Uh, I upgraded a Broken Straight Sword all the way uh, up to plus 10, and then turned it into... The Artorius Greatsword, which we don't have enough uh, stats to use, but maybe someday I want to have that uh, out because it scales to every single stat. You have to have at least 20 of, uh, let's see, it's 24 strength, 18 dex, 20 uh, intelligence, 20 faith. But it scales for every single stat, especially your magic ones. So it's an incredible weapon, but, um, and I went for the... Uh, the Quelog Fury Sword from the Falcon. I also uh, upgraded a katana for bleed damage in case we want to play with that. So I just want to show you how powerful, though, this uh, Quelog Greatsword is, you know, just compared to previously we were using that um, that Balder Side Sword plus 10, and I still have that. I could have just transformed that into it, but, you know, I'm not even. I didn't do that. I could have turned that in, but I didn't want to risk losing a weapon. So we're just gonna go. And this is this isn't even dual wielding or two handing it. This is just straight up. So we're just gonna flail this around, and you can keep swinging for days in the regular mode. And if you go two handed, it's even more powerful. So. Give you an idea. You know, these guys don't even really get too much of a chance. So, anyway, um, we're going to stop playing around here. We don't need the souls, and if we needed them, we'd go back to Painted World. And we're going to start upgrading the. Um, we're going to start upgrading. I don't know what. Probably our Endurance. Let's see. Well, let's see here. Endurance just got to 30. Getting four points of endur of stamina. That's a lot. Um, you know, vitality just seemed to take a drop off all of a sudden. Um, yeah, endurance it is. And. So we have taken down um, Ornstein and Smulf, and so now we have the ability to warp, which is awesome. Uh, let's see if it lets us go to Firelink Shrine. I know the Keeper had gotten killed, but maybe, yeah, it's still going to let us go there. I'm excited now, because um, we have an awesome weapon, and we are ready to dive into the next step of our journey here. All right. Firekeeper still absent. All right. Let's go see Kingseeker Frampt or whatever his name is up here. See if he has something new to say. I think Guinevere said something about him. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved a Lord Vessel after a thousand years. It is you. It is really you. Rawr! <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. All right. This is uh, terrifying. He doesn't really compare with the world serpent, sadly. 
That's absolutely disgusting. I don't remember what happens down here. Successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Okay, we're going to place the Lord Vessel. Probably get an achievement for that, I would imagine. Back in my original clothes, not my. I don't think it's what I. My gold hemmed. Wow, I just don't remember this. So that undoes the four doors. So we now have access to the catacombs. Archives. Let's see what he says here. The firelands there. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful soul, commensurate to the great soul of wind. Scarce few possess such brilliant soul. Brave Lord Nito. The Witch of Isolid, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Alright, so now we've got the four big bosses to focus on. Nito, Seath, um, I don't remember the others, frankly. Uh, the Four Kings. Alright, so we're back at the Firelink Shrine. We're gonna start by going into the underground here, the into the catacombs. Okay, so from here we're going to the catacombs, so we're gonna go past good old Framped here. Grr, come on. Let me buy Framped. And out to this beautiful pile of crap. Those were no match. I want to see this big guy, how he fares. Oh yeah, he no, he just falls apart. That's ridiculous. This sword is broken. One hit on everybody. Oh, and there's an item we missed in our first little run through of this. The binoculars. Not particularly useful, but nice if you want to view. Now let's find the entrance to the catacombs down here and see what we can see. I still can't believe how powerful this sword is. I haven't used many boss weapons. I don't know why. I mean, you have to be very, very intentional about it. And either really plan for it, or... I don't know. Okay, we 
we're just gonna run past those things. Oh, we got these guys again. So to get rid of these guys, we have to go find the one who keeps bringing them back. Which means we just want to keep pressing forward until we find her. There she is. Yeah, you got fire, I got fire too. Got fire like you won't believe. does, but it seems appropriate. Alright, so before I go farther, I do want to turn our brightness up a couple levels. And I need... to turn off the lights in my room here, so that way we can see everything clearly in the dark here. As clearly as we would want to anyway. So there is our target right there. I don't think we have anything that can reach her that's, well, you know what? Actually, I want to try this. So let's see here. Boom, headshot. Right in the face. Arrow sticking out of his face. And that's going to prevent the next wave of respawns. So we're going to continue in here.
Here's a Lucerne. Got to be a little more careful. I know I've got a lot of flasks and all that. But right now... Now we're also doing more damage, I just realized, because I've got that 5 humanity. When you have high humanity, like, you get extra little damage bonuses. So that's definitely working in our favor. like we go out right here. Got to go back here to <laughs> Wow, that's a cool flurry, flourish whatever. she is. No more respawning skeletons. Oh boy. Okay, so you can climb up right here, but where does this all lead? Heavens. Really? Wow. I'll take it. This is a, definitely a secret area. <laughs> acquired by falling accidentally through multiple things.
explored that out pretty well. works. Okay, so we have right here, there is a little side, well, let's see what's here first. So you can step out and fall down there, or you can take the side path, which is what we're going to opt for at first. Okay. So right there. Misery wall. Aha. And we have a a ladder right here, so a couple different things. And that turns that so we can pass peacefully. And what lies up here? Aha. Almost definitely going to get invaded soon now. Alright, so let's go across here and... What the crap? What is he doing? <laughs> Suicidal skellies. Now I've seen it all. See what lies on the other side of this white door.
There you are. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything of much import here. So we're going to go back up this tunnel where we found the flame keeper, whatever you want to call her. The one who makes the skeletons respawn. And we're going to drop out this window here. Because that just seems like the good thing to do. Now that we're not running for our lives, this is where we came in after crossing that bridge. Oh, we need a we need a drink. here. Try right. Okay, that's the way to go. The main path. Imminent demon. Be wary of demon. Oh, there is a Titanite demon here. Okay, so let's get our... down pretty easy. One more Demon Titanite. That's not one of the hard guys. Three Eye of Death. And 
here is where you can get into the coffin, nestle. I think it actually says Nestle in the coffin. It means we're getting chocolate. And if you stay in here long enough, something magical will happen. Dum dum dum. They really test your resolve by making you sit here for like a full 30 seconds to a minute. And this is the Tomb of the Giants. We get another covenant here. The Sarcophagus Grave Lord. <laughs> Gravelord sword and the Gravelord sword dance. I don't think there's anything else I really care to do while we're in here. We'll just travel back in our magical coffin ride. Okay, so we're back. And so now we can head back along our esteemed path here. I think I missed the ladder a second ago. Oh, look at this. Oh. Large soul of a nameless soldier. And those guys are coming back already. There's our next play. And everybody fell down. They feel the need to come back up. Oh boy. And we got a skull lantern. Let's go up the ladder. Hopefully he can doesn't knock us off. We need to heal up. 
That was a scary dangerous proposition right there. All right, good, good. We're in a much better place now. <laughs> Hopefully we can just walk away far enough and get that guy to reset. But I have a feeling it's not going to happen. That's really crappy. I literally is pinned. And we at least get right back to where we died here. So we've cleared that out. So where did that knight come from? There he is. Oh. That guy hits for, like, mega hard. He also gets hit really hard. White Titanite Chunk, wow. Journers. Oh. Oh. Now that we know this area is clear, I do want to try dropping down one of those holes up here. I'm not sure if one or the other is better. I just remember if you dropped, if you fell down originally, you would fall down and all the pinwheels would get you. But now that we've cleared the pinwheel guys away, I am willing to give this a shot. You get a soul of a proud knight. Nothing super special. Really? And see, we still had two pinwheel guys join the fray. So I'm starting to think we're about out of pinwheel guys. Trying to remember how to get in there. So we've got a new area here that we can drop into. I know this is a boss.
And what do we have here? I remember this guy being a pushover. But let's not be cocky. Okay, yeah, that's not creepy at all. Okay, yeah, that wasn't a joke at all. <laughs> Five hits. The Rite of Kindling. Mask of the Father. And we can go over here and climb up. Wow. So I'm not ready to go that way quite yet. I do in fact want to take this path, secret as it is. see exactly where it leads. And it leads to this right here. Another, who knew, soul of a proud knight. So from the here, you go up into here. And then in, a couple guys will form up. up. What is this? A scimitar. Alright, so down here we go. And they killed themselves. And at least we can get our stuff back right here. And we're gonna walk off the edge here. And just barely made it there. And we're gonna walk off the edge here, facing the wall. Then we'll walk off here, and we fall down the little hole, and hey, we get a, a cutscene. It's a friendly looking character. And now he opens the way. Be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. You'll be all, then be gone with you. And down here you also get a special bonfire. That's fantastic. endurance for me. Okay, now that we have defeated this guy here, the pinwheel, we are going to call it for our episode. We thankfully have... Let's see, somewhere down here in our inventory, I believe we've got a lantern. We've got a lot of leather shields that I wish I could just sell to somebody. There it is, the skull lantern. Uh. 
and you can hold that up as you're going around and it helps you see in the dark down here. So thankfully we found that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to shoot us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And above all, please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you get a notification when our new videos come out. So until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and I'm out of here.